this. Look at this giant, giant bull moose. Giant. The Yukon Territory is a wild place, a land of mystery, of northern lights, rugged mountains, and streams flowing cold and clear as crystal. In my early moose hunts, it seemed like there was always something going wrong. It was either global warming hot, with black flies and mosquitoes everywhere, or ice age cold, with lakes freezing over that limited the hunt. There's a million combinations of reasons and excuses that can lead to an unsuccessful hunt. So seemingly when it comes to moose hunting, bad luck just follows me. This moose hunt's my third excursion into the Yukon, going after a giant bull. The moose are here, the planets just need to align. Well, the moose up here are, are the biggest in the world. I mean, uh, uh, to the top of the horns, they're about 11 feet tall, 9 feet at the shoulders, and they get up to 2,000 pounds. So, Some of the big bulls, you know, their antlers are weigh 150 pounds, just their antlers. I mean, they're, they're just huge, huge big bulls. And, and at this time of the year, I mean, we're tailing down on the rut right now, but generally from about the 13th of September to the 5th of October, they're in rut. And when they're in rut up here, it's just magical pretty exciting when a big bull comes roaring in and yeah you get them within 30 yards 35 yards of the bow hunters shooting some arrows at them it's it's a lot of fun okay. yeah. beautiful morning you can tell it's pretty cool out not only because I'm bundled up but because we got all this steam coming off the lake a lake's freezing cold water <laughs> and the lake's warmer than the air so that's why we got the fog but, uh, mount up and see if we can't find us a bull. Days can be pretty long on a wilderness bow hunt. You know, in the north, it's pretty common to lose 10 plus minutes of light every day. I'm hunting in early October on the last hunt of the year. It's a risky time to hunt as the rut's all but over and the hunting success is determined with the hope that a mature bull will move more in the colder weather seeking out that one last estrus cow. It's the best time to shoot a giant bull, but it's also the best time to draw a blank. Well, it's Murphy's Law. If it can happen, it will happen. Our guide, Dave Marsters, dropped us off here on this point, and then he took Jason back up river. Five minutes, the boat's gone, and we spot a bull moose in the lake swimming across. He looks like he's a real nice one, and there's nothing we can do about it. We are like trapped here right now. We have no boat. We have no chance to get over there. And so all I can do is just watch where he gets off on the bank, and then maybe we can spot him coming down the lake. 
when Dave gets back here, maybe we'll have an opportunity. Well, here comes a boat. So hopefully we'll be able to get over there and maybe call this bull in and see what he really was, what he really is. You are not gonna believe this. You guys just taxi out and start to leave. Big bull comes out right over there where we've been parking and swims, honest to God, all the way across. He gets out on the other side of the point. It's not the big, big one, but it's a big one, 60 plus, I think. When he got out, he stopped in the water and shook off and he looked our way because I had tried to do a half cow call that was worthless. And then he took a few more steps and shook off again and he angled into the wind. He's looking for a cow. I've heard a lot of moose callers in my day, a lot of deer callers and elk callers too. But what makes a difference between a good caller and a great caller is the killer instinct. This is where I saw him get out of the water and walk up into the woods. And we just went up there and called. We didn't get any response. It's because he's looking for cows and he's got his nose into the wind. He swam across here. He's headed to the woods and we're gonna try to circle around. Make a few call stops before it gets dark. Maybe we can intercept him. Another key element is realism. Top guides build emotion into their calls and build in pauses of silence. They use natural sounds like brush breaking and water splashing to sell their mock sounds. Look at the size of this wolf track. It's back foot, front foot right here. It's as big as my hand. These animals are huge. Wolf can weigh 130, 140 pounds up here. Big moose, big wolves, big country. That's why it's a 10 day hunt. We haven't had an opportunity yet, but we're gonna keep after it because adventure bow hunters do not give up. Well, it all came down to the 11th inning, the last day, and I'd passed several bull moose, and the nemesis had crept back into the equation. As we entered the river, I spotted an antler pan in the trees. It was a bull, a good bull, one we hadn't seen the entire trip. We drove the boat right past the bull, he was about 30 yards off the bank. We turned around and paralleled the bank and Marster shut the boat down. We just saw a huge bull in the trees right there. We're gonna turn around and drift back. Got him, job, Dave. It's not holy man. Yeah. Holy cow. Look at this. Look at this giant, giant bull moose. Giant. Look at that bow. He's huge. Look at the spikes on this thing. Look at the fronts. Holy Halifax, Nova Scotia. Oh my goodness. Dave, come here, man. <laughs> Look at my bow, man. Dwarfs it. Great job, man. How can you even, how can you even take a hero shot with this thing? He's not moving anywhere. Bases on this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at the wide, wide paddles. <laughs> my goodness. I'll tell you what. If you want to go moose hunting in the Yukon, this is a place you want to be. 
And this is the guide you want right here, Dave Marsters. We have seen little bulls, we've seen medium bulls, we've seen giant bulls. I shot this one for 40 yards. He didn't go 60 yards and he is ours right here. Dream of a lifetime. I've always wanted to shoot a giant bull. I finished my super slam not shooting a big bull. I've been on four moose hunts after big bulls. Fourth is a charm. You know, I always said that the moose was a nemesis animal for me. Kind of a jinx. The jinx is broken right now.